Hi, this is Coach Chuck from the National Free Flight Society Youth Development Program. In this short video, I will uh, take a look at basic trim setup of your plane before going to the gym. And this is an excerpt from an hour long live seminar uh, from October of 2021. The entire seminar is linked in the comments below. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Great. Uh, next topic we're going to cover is basic trim setup on your airplane. Before you get to the gym, uh, getting some of the trim into the plane and then understanding uh, the trim and uh, how to change things once you're in the gym. So the first thing and most important uh, is, is getting your, your plane to fly without diving and without stalling, which is it climbs and then drops through, climbs and then drops through. And that's a combination of what we call decollage and center of gravity. So uh, each of your surfaces can be set at an angle. Now this is a, a P18 kit. This is very similar in size to this year's Wright Stuff plane. So I thought I'd use it as my demo plane. Um, the stab on the, the stabilizer on this plane is not adjustable. So it's set at zero degrees incident. The wing is adjustable and we've raised the leading edge slightly compared to the trailing edge. That's wing incidence. The difference between wing incidence and stab or tail incidence is what we call decollage. Um, on the planes this year, we found that a starting point for decollage would be between three and five millimeters. And all you do is you take your, your uh, uh, centimeter scale here, a millimeter scale, and measure from the bottom of the wing to the bottom of the motor stick. Top of the motor stick tends to be your, have slopes on it and stuff. So I always measure to the bottom and you can remember bottom to bottom. And this is 33 millimeters on the rear post and about 38 millimeters on the, the front post. So we got a five millimeter difference from the front of the wing to the back of the wing. That's a good starting point. Um, then the, the center of gravity uh, on this plane happens to be in the uh, back third of the wing. This year's uh, Science Olympiad plane, because it's got a larger stab, uh, the center of gravity is going to be somewhere between the rear wing post and maybe up to two or three centimeters behind that. Uh, so uh, setting it at the rear post or a centimeter back is a good starting point. So then you'll go into the gym and fly at low power. This means maybe a couple hundred turns on your uh, rubber motor, uh, just enough to fly the plane straight ahead without climbing. And you're looking to see if it stalls a little. If it stalls a little, you'll move some weight to the front of the plane, move your center of gravity forward, the balance point of the plane, uh, toward the front of the plane to get rid of the stalling. This assumes your decollage is set at three to five millimeters. If the plane flies straight ahead or even dives, you can move some of your weight back. And what I do is I continue to move the weight back until I induce a stall at low powered flight. Then I move it forward a little bit until the stall just goes away and now you're close to optimum center of gravity for that amount of decollage. Now, later on, you may decide you want more or less decollage uh, for stability. Um, if you move the CG forward and increase the incidence of the wing or increase the decollage, you have a more stable plane, but it's more drag. What's stability? If your plane hits a girder and then dives down and loses 10 or 15 uh, feet, it's not stable and you want to move the center of gravity forward. Somebody's asking what center of gravity is. That's simply where the plane balances. So this is a center of gravity for this plane and you can move it by adding clay to the front or adding clay to the back. Or if you, in this case, if I want to move it back, if I've already got enough clay to put me over the eight grams, I can just take off some of the clay. So, so I just use modeling clay for uh, moving the center of gravity. Uh, forward and back. Um, 
Okay, so that, that gets your up and down trip. We also want the plane to fly in a circle in the gym uh, so we can get an, an extended flight. We don't want to go straight across the gym. Some of the primary adjustments to make a circle. First of all, if we look at the tail and we level the wing, you'll see there's some tilt on the tail. The left or inside wing, our, our stab is slightly higher than the right tip relative to the wing. The stab does lift a little and what this causes is for the stab to lift outward and that pulls the, the tail out of the circle and helps the plane turn to the left. You always, uh, you always wanna turn to the left in America because our props uh, turn clockwise when viewed from the rear and that tends to make the plane want to turn left. So you're gonna help turn left with stab tilt. In addition to stab tilt, we have a little bit left tail boom offset. You could do that as rudder. Uh, we found it easier to put just a, when, when you join the tail boom to the motor stick, offset it maybe a quarter, a half an inch. And that gives a little bit of left rudder. The left rudder tends to help you at higher power, make your circle, the tail tilt helps you at lower power. Somebody's asking what the, the clay is. It's really modeling clay for a Hobby Lobby or some such. Uh, you can also get um, uh, 3M, I think it's 3M, the blue tacky stuff used to hang posters. Uh, that is kind of like silly putty. Um, it's a little harder to get it to stick initially, but it sticks better in the long run. So, so we use that. Uh, this is uh, simply modeling play, like Sculpey. Um, thrust line uh, is the angle of your prop shaft relative to your motor stick. And sometimes uh, you might angle that down a little bit, but it, it's good to start it at zero uh, downward thrust and zero left thrust. Uh, where you might want a little more left thrust is if the plane starts taking off at very high power, and tends to roll into the circle and then drop the tail, uh, kind of a, a right tail slide. Uh, sometimes that can be fixed with a little bit of left thrust, but generally the Science Olympiad planes fly fast enough that setting the thrust line zero, zero is, is your best place to start. Now, one other trim adjustment that we can very slightly see on this plane, you're looking from the front and if you look carefully, you'll find that the leading edge on the left wing is slightly rolled up, only a millimeter or two. If at very high power, the plane rolls in and dives rather than rolling in and, and uh, tail sliding, um, a little bit of wash in, that's raising the left wing tip just a little bit, uh, will tend to level that out. You don't want a lot of wash in because that's drag once you get to the slower portions of the flight. Now these, um, these adjustments are uh, something you can do on both right stuff and electric right stuff. That's all the flying surface adjustments. Um, your prop pitch, uh, you can adjust the Icara props by taking uh, pliers on the um, on the spar and twisting it a little, you wanna use a, a pitch gauge when you do that, so you get the pitch on both blades uh, roughly equal. We found that you wanna be roughly a pitch to diameter ratio of two to one. So on a nine and a half inch pitch prop, I mean, nine and a half inch diameter uh, prop, you want about a 19 inch pitch. That'll be about 40 degrees of pitch angle at about three and a half inch radius. Um, what to look for and what to change uh, in, on your trim. Uh, if it's stalling, then uh, you, you uh, uh, want to move the CJ forward or reduce your decalage. Um, if it's not stalling, you want to increase your decalage or move your, your uh, ballast back uh, until it does stall and then, then, then go forward a little to get rid of the stall. Um, if it's not turning uh, early in the flight, you can improve the turning by giving it more rudder later in the flight by giving more tail tilt. 
I find if you wet the tail boom a little bit, you can put some twists in it and then hit it, hit it with a heat gun or a hairdryer uh, to dry it out while you're holding that twist in it. And that'll uh, keep you from breaking it. Um, failure to climb. If the plane just won't climb, but you've got it, uh, you, you've gone through the steps to get your CG and decollage right, try a higher launch torque. If that doesn't help you climb, uh, try a, a, a thicker piece of rubber. So it'll be a shorter loop in, in today's uh, rules because we're limited to one and a half grams of, of rubber. Um, late in the flight, if, uh, if it's failing to turn, I already mentioned that, uh, give it more tail tilt. If it climbs too much, uh, pretty much you start by reducing the launch torque. If you run out of turns in the ru rubber before you finish flying, it'll just fall out of the sky. You want to go to thinner rubber or more pitch on the prop. If you have too many turns le uh, left at the end of the flight, you want to go to thicker rubber or less pitch on the prop. 